Shalom Sprouties, this is Rivka from the Corganic Family. Today we're going to learn how to set up a custom logo banner in WordPress for our Foodie Pro theme. Um, I had to poke around a lot doing this. As I've mentioned before in the previous video, this is the first time I have um, gone into building a website with a custom theme. Um, so I poked around a little bit with this and I also had already completed one step and the reason I didn't include that step in this video is because there's a lot of different ways to um, go about doing this part and also there's enough that it's really a video in itself. Um, so what I'd like to do is just make a separate video and not kind of confuse things because some of you may already have your um, banner fit to the recommended pixels that um, this WordPress theme is requesting. Um, others of you will just be able to crop it, which I'll show you in a minute. So you don't necessarily have to do it this way. It was just easiest for me to get it formatted um, exactly the way I wanted it by using GIMP. So I used GIMP too. We'll put that in the um, in the description below. We'll put a link to that. That's a free software. Um, it's an open source software. It's pretty cool. I had heard of it in the past before and it didn't work so well for me. Um, it worked really good for me this time, but there's definitely a learning curve to it. I had used um, some really good, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was an Adobe program. Um, I think it was Adobe. It was a really good program that I had used in the past that I used to um, lay out a newsletter that I had made. And um, I'm kind of just already trained in that program, so I it, it may have taken me a little bit longer to use GIMP because I'm having to kind of, I didn't even realize how much subconsciously um, I was still trying to do things like the other program, which I love the other program, um, but it's very expensive and I don't know where my software is to s install it on this laptop. So um, it, there was definitely a learning curve to GIMP, but it, it works really well. A lot of people use it and I used it to format the um, channel art for my YouTube channel and I also um, I'm now using it to, or just used it to format the banner for um, the WordPress theme. So it's it's um, just it's really great and it's free. So um, we, I went ahead and did that and I got it to the recommended dimensions, which is 800 by 340 pixels. This might not be the recommended dimensions for every theme, but once you know how to use GIMP, you know, like for example, the YouTube. Um, recommended dimensions were different um, so once you know how to to use it um, or in this case this theme I think is pretty good about allowing you to crop things so like I said th this is a whole video into itself and I'm already kind of getting more into it than what I had planned for this video so let's move along um, but I will go ahead and go a little bit further down this road for those of you that are interested in learning a little bit more about GIMP and, and, and why I felt like it was better to um, go ahead and get the image formatted before I uploaded it and not necessarily crop it. Okay, so um, let's get right into it. Um, okay, so what we're going to do in order to um, in order to upload this, first I just want to show you where we left off. We're back at our dashboard and this is just our bare bones. I haven't touched anything. I um, had just installed the theme. So this is just what the website looks like right now. And now we're going to go into appearance and we're going to go into header because that area that we're going to want to customize is referred to as a header. And then you can see I was playing with a little, a little bit. Um, I had actually uploaded this a couple times, and this again goes into why I like formatting it um, without just cropping it, because I was able to kind of adjust um, and stretch out the image exactly how I wanted it. Um, I'm still playing with it. I'm actually still in the process of playing with it, but I think that I have it now um, more how I want it. I've played with it a couple times, and it was coming up too small and you know different things. Um, just really in short, you can crop the image in 
um, within inside the theme, but I don't think you can really manipulate the image in the theme, if that makes sense for now. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually manipulate the image a little bit and, and, and format the size a little bit better, not just crop it. Okay, so we're going to add the new image. Upload files. Okay, so that's going to be my... I think it was... What did I call it? Oh, yeah, okay, here, Web Banner 2. If you look here, see how the... Um, Web Banner 1, this is one of the first ones I created um, in GIMP for what we're doing now, and then now this is the second one I've created. This came up really small on the actual website, um, and so what I was trying to explain um, is that you could crop this more, um, but you can't necessarily manipulate the image. And see, I wanted to kind of stretch the image and pull, it, pull the image more into that allowable pixel dimension. Um, so that just, you know, hopefully it's going to, going to look, um, better than just cropping it and more, you know, what I was looking for. So let's, oops, let's go ahead and open that one. Okay. So I'm going to select and crop and see it really fills that dimension really nice. Um, you know, I don't necessarily want to, to have something cropped. I wanted to have I wanted to pull the image into that space bigger okay so we don't really need to crop this hopefully it'll work out now um, something that I just learned is that this showed up really weird when I had first uploaded this and so I went over to the website let's refresh this Oh, maybe I didn't save it yet. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Save and publish. Okay. Um, and it's still going to be formatted weird. Okay. But don't worry, because what you need to do is go in and go into this um, little bar, site, title, and tagline, and just remove this, uncheck this box, display header text. Okay, now save and publish. And then you'll see. Okay, so I'm still not 100% happy with this right now. Um, I'll probably play with it a little bit more. I, I, um, I don't like how small it looks on the website. I think it's just, it needs to be stretched out wider, I think. Um, anyway, but there you go. I mean, you can play with it and try to, um, you know, figure out what um, opportunities you have for, um, you know, um, customizing it even more, but at least there's, you know, a custom logo and it's a big step in the process. So, I uh, hope that was helpful and look forward to our next step in the next video.